right, today we're going to make an intro to our game. It's called a splash screen. A splash screen, you've seen them before. It's the title page of a game. It's the title page of a program. Uh, it has the name of the program or game. It has uh, who created it. And of course, it has maybe some instructions on how to play. So let's get started on that right away. Our splash screen is going to be a new sprite. So we're going to head down to our sprite pane. We're going to click on choose a sprite and we're going to paint a new one. Now to make things easy, I'm just going to make a quick splash screen by creating a box of whatever color it is, filling up my paint editor right there. And you can see that it's uh, um, showing up here. And then we are going to add some text to it. So I'm going to click on text, but I need to change the color. Let's make it black. And I'll call this uh, example of a splash screen. We'll have that there. Um, we want it or I want to press uh, spacebar to begin. And then I'm also going to have my name down here on the bottom. It's a good habit to get into making um, your splash screen or having your splash screen show your name on the bottom. Now, if you look over here onto our stage here, you'll see that the splash screen is not really centered and that uh, is not something that we want. So we're, we're going to fix that in a minute here. But you'll notice in the sprite panes, it says sprite number two, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to rename it to splash. Oops, I can't spell today. We're going to rename it to splash. And now let's head over and let's code this sprite. So I'm going to over, go over to the code tab. And I've got my code editor here. And for the splash screen, typically what I do to start the game, I always start with the space bar. But for my splash screen, I'm going to start it with the green flag. And when I click the green flag, what I want it to do is I want it to go to the X, Y coordinates of zero, zero, because right now you can see it's not in the middle, but I want it to show up in the middle. So let's test that and let's see if it works. We're going to put X zero, Y zero. Let's test it out. Boom. It's right in the middle, exactly where we want it. And then we want it to show. So we're going to go into looks and click on show. Now, I want it to be sensing if the space bar is being pressed. But the problem is we need it to always be sensing if the space bar is being pressed. So under control, in a forever loop, we will throw an if then statement, so that if it senses that the space key is being pressed, then we want it under looks, we want it to hide. So let's test this out. So green flag shows it there. And now it's waiting for me to hit the space bar. And boom, I hit the space bar, my splash screen, this is my splash screen disappears. And I can play my game. Let's test that again. I'll hit stop. I'll hit the green flag. And then when I hit the green flag, it should reappear. Boom, it did hit the space bar. Oh, it disappears. All right, I want you to head over to your games and start creating splash screens for them.